So here at the Rocky Mountains Rap Rap Fest 2025 is a familiar face. It's Luke from Big 3 Tech with some amazing brand new products to tell you all about. So let's dive right in. Alrighty, let's do it. So Luke, what do we have now to tell all about? Ooh. Okay, where to begin? Uh, <laughs> we got a lot. I will try to touch on only the highlights. So let's start with the A1 because we're here. So you got the Panda Breeze, which is this really cool little crossflow fan that, <laughs> that kind of gives you the same crossflow function that you got on the P and the X1 series. Uh, but now you get to have it on the A1, so you get that extra little bit of cooling. And um, yeah, you know, you're not going to also get warping because you're using a Krogut Frostbite plate. So the extra cooling can just help you get really great overhangs. And it also comes with this built-in LED strip that is controlled by the um, standard light on the printer. So you get extra, extra lighting. Panda Breeze, very, very cool little product. Super happy with that. That should be out in about two weeks from now. It's been in development for an age. Uh, there's a lot that we've had to do to get it right and get it performing just right, but we're super happy with where it is now. And um, of course, you've got the Panda Mami. We know about that. That was yeah. at least beginning of the year and people have been doing really cool things with it. Uh, and some new firmware coming for that. People have been asking for some great features. So yeah, we'll be getting some nice uh, new firmware after that. <laughs> this is pretty cool. So we worked with Ajax to get the TD1S out the door, which is a transmission distance and RGB color sensor for, um, for filament. So you slide the filament in one end and out it comes the other and it will tell you what the TD is and the RGB color, which really helps with uh, hue forge printing. So uh, yeah, you'll get some really good hue forge uh, accuracy and results when you use the sensor instead of just sort of guessing and, and winging it. Yeah. So yeah, and also you can put this inside like a multi-material system and then you don't really have to have RFID to know what color your filament, you just pass it through here. You can put uh, PTFE connectors on other end so your filament can pass through there and uh, yeah, then you get your RGB color without having to scan it. So that is the TD1S collaboration with Ajax. Really happy with that product, go check it out. This is the VVD, right? So this is busy doing multicolor print and, and that's what's busy doing it over there. And we'll just move this out the way so you can see it. Yeah, so this is our uh, VVD. It is coming soon in the truest Voron sense. No, it's, it should be out in about three months from now. Integrated heater, nice little vent when you are heating to let the humidity yeah, yeah. out of the chamber. Integrated RFID, two versions, one with, one without. And uh, yeah, they'll be going for about 249 and 299, the two different versions when they release. Buffer at the back, four outputs. And uh, yeah, we are also releasing a nice little wiper system that you can see here. That's what it's busy doing over there. And uh, that is VVD. Look out for it in about three or four months from now. Once we have, uh, yeah, we're busy industrializing it now. So beta testers are busy running it. We're busy getting all the bugs and things ironed out to make sure that when you get it, it is just right. Very, very excited. Lots of effort going into that great little product. What else have we got going on here? Let's have a little look. See, so of course we've got the new CNC boards. I say new, yeah, they've been out for about five months, but they're beautiful little boards. Silhouettes compatible with the new Cascade, uh, Voron Cascade, and also the Milo, mm -hmm. beautiful little boards. This is the Rodent, and that is used in the uh, beautiful new Rattery mill. So nice little boards, functionality, feature pack, uh, really cost effective as well. And this, this is one of my little favorites over here. So this is the EBB 36 Gen 2. And this is the Gen 1 of the EBB 42 version. I want to flick them over and just show you the difference in component density on those. Um, it just shows you how much is going on on the Gen 2. And the reason is, is that we've added so much protection to it. So it's, um, yeah, it's got a ton of protection. You can make mistakes and it can survive them. So that was one of our objectives with this board. Uh, it runs on USB or CAN, and you just change it by popping a jumper in or pulling the jumper off. And it's either USB or CAN. It's got a USB or CAN pass-through, so you can connect a 1080p, 30 frames per second, nozzle camera to it, and it'll just pass it straight through. Really, really great functions inside this. Coming in about a month from now, very, very excited about that. That represents about a year and a half of engineering effort and iteration to get to the point that we're at now. And for which three printers, the 4D Vorons? Oh, it can be used on Voron. It can be used on anything. If you go around here, you'll see the first generation of that used on many, many machines here. Uh, but this is, yeah, this is the second generation. And uh, we set some pretty, steep design requirements at the outset and it's taken us a long time to get there but we are really happy that we have finally got there. Yeah. Nebula is, so this is lightweight high pushing force extruder that is super cost effective as well and really feature packed. So you've got RGB integrated into it, you've got a filament sensor, you've got a macro button, you've got large planetary gears hardened driving it, 142 grams driving six kilos of pushing force it will over six kilos actually. It is a really nice little piece of equipment that is very cost effective. And yeah, the price will be announced in a couple of weeks from now and it'll be put on sale. Also a little tensioner over there. 
super little extruder, excited to get that into people's hands. We're just finally finalizing the production line on it now. And EcoTurbo, so that is, <laughs> that is a robot vacuum fan that is being repurposed as a um, remote cooling solution. And to repurpose it, we did kind of need to design custom hardware. And then that custom hardware gets driven pretty hard. So we also had to cool it using another fan. Uh, so this fan is cooling the fan. Yeah, but it's a really cost-effective blower solution that allows you to take that weight off the tool head and just use a CPAP tube to, to drive it. Nice little product. And of course, you've got the big brother, which is the medical grade CPAP blower fan. Um, yeah, so that's the universal turbo and the eco turbo. Very, very cool. Let's take a quick step back over here because there's some really cool stuff that I want to show you that we didn't get to. These are now on pre-sale on our site. These are resin printed slippers that feel like you're walking on a cloud. And they are super cost effective as well. Yeah, I think the pre-sale, oh, I stand to be corrected, but yeah, they're, they're really cost effective. I, I don't wanna mention a price now because I was talking about pricing in a, in a private group and we're not sure the pre-sale launched at that price, but you can go online, check the price out. Absolutely amazing set of slippers, uh, resin printed, beautiful lattice structure. Check them out, yeah. Filaments, we've got this filament coming, which is called Morflex, and it's specifically designed for shoes. So uh, it prints harder than it settles at after the print, if that makes sense. So you're talking like a 95A print and later on settling at around a 75A. So you can print it through an AMS, but you still get that soft comfort once the print is done. That's more flex. We're super excited about that. And of course, well, you know this already, huh? This is our uh, 3D printed basketball. That uses our PLA HR. Um, very cool. And we've got this, which is uh, our PIBA UHR. That is, I mean, it's even bouncier than this. So this is coming soon. This will be a filament that we launch probably in the next two months. And yeah, those are, that's our filament range. We've also got a new carbon fiber range where the carbon is actually embedded within the center of the filament. Uh, and the outside is the polymer. So let's say you have CF PLA. Traditionally, yeah. it's a complete blend, but this is a concentric extrusion process so that the outside is non-abrasive, but mm. you still get the benefits of having carbon fiber. So you can run it through an AMS without anywhere whatsoever, but you're printing carbon fiber. So we've got that in uh, ABS, Petchy, Nylon, and PLA. That is, that's launching probably in about two weeks from now. Yeah, so those are our carbon core filament range. What else have we got going on? Let's take a Woody run bumps. over this side and see the bamboo stuff. Okay, so let's flip that open and you can have a look at what's going on there. Of course, that is our frostbite cry grip and it is, as Amazing. you can see, just the most insane adhesion. Um, yeah, it, it, and look at the bed temp. I mean, 35 degrees C, it's not like reducing that bed temp or anything. It's pretty much sitting at ambient and it's, it's just doing a fantastic job. So that is the cryogrip frostbite and of course the Panda Touch. And this is running the Panda Sense as well. So we're measuring the internal humidity and temperature of the chamber, which you can't do on the P1S, only the X1C, but now you can do it with this combination. It's got the Panda Power as well. So we're measuring exactly what voltage is coming in, what current it's drawing, how much power it's drawing and how much it's consumed throughout the entire print. So if you're printing for, you know, to sell, that's a good metric to have available because you know what it's costing you. And this, well, this, this is a prototype of a new product that we're working on that gives you a status update of how your print is doing in the same way that the H2D does. So it just sits on the front of your bolt plate here and at a glance you can see what's going on. Mm. It's, a, it's, a, yeah, it's a pretty cool little product, so that should come soon. We have this, which is the Panda Perch. So you wanna put two AMS units on your machine? Well, traditionally you'd have to stack one and then find another place for the other. Now you can just perch them side by side. And it's super easy to put together and really cost effective. So Panda Perch is coming probably in about two weeks from now. Have a look here. And you've got the Panda AMS Guard. I think it's like 10 bucks for four of these. They are really, really cheap. And uh, yeah, they kind of just slot onto your, um, to your feeders. So these normally wear, right, pretty badly. But this is a ceramic insert that just prevents that from wearing. And, and you can print guards and you normally would have to insert PTFE, but that PTFE wears. Yeah. So here you just pop these on and uh, yeah, you're never gonna have to replace them. That ceramic is for life, it's done. But clips on, not going anywhere, protect your feeders. 10 bucks a four, super cheap. And uh, what else we got going on here? So inside there, you'll see it's got the Panda Wiper installed. So that brings silicon brush wiping to the PNX1 series. You know, like the A1 has the silicon wiper. Now you can get that on your PNX1 as well. So that, that just really makes sure your nozzle is clean. Sometimes your poop chute might back up, right? So what happens is you've got that little flap in there yeah. and the filament gets extruded and it sits against the flap until the tool head knocks it open, lets it fall down. And while it's doing that, it might bind up against the actual chute itself. It might, you know, because it's hot, it might stick to it. Uh, so this is just this little nanopolymer coated piece of metal that you stick on the inside of the chute and it just, it, the filament will have no adhesion to it. Yeah. So it just prevents that chute from backing up and jamming. Cool little quality of life upgrade. 
super cheap as well and, and really great to have. This, <laughs> this is also a cool little thing. So when you get filament broken off and stuck inside the AMS, you've got to undo the two screws at the back, flip it open, undo the PTFE, knock it out, and it's a bit of a mission. And one of the things that always happened to me was I would, as much as I tried not to, I would pull those two plugs out yep. of the, the back board. Yep. And I got like fat fingers and I struggled to get them back in because they are small and finicky. But this is literally just an extension cable for those. Yeah, I so just I make have, them longer. You know? I have that same issue. I had it recently. I took the two screws out. I just left it. I knew that there were two cables. I just a little bit more, and then it, and they come out. Yeah. And you try not to. You're like, I'll do it this time. I'll make it. Like it's a personal challenge, and I never get it right. So now I have extension cables. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Simple quality of life upgrade. Yeah. So that is the Panda AMS Slack and the AMS Guard. We have the bougie Revo Diamondback. So it literally comes with a, like, it's it's not a diamond, but it's it not looks like a diamond. for its other. It's, I can't remember the exact name for it. But yeah, it comes embedded within it. And when your wife sees the credit card bill, you get to actually unscrew it and uh, install it onto the little ring that comes with it as well. <laughs> and give that to her to explain why there is the credit card bill for the Panda Revo diamond back. But yeah, it's got the diamond nozzle. So that's for life. That's never going to wear. It doesn't matter what you print with it. It's super hard. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a, a synthetic diamond nozzle on there. So... Cool little, cool little uh, new hot end that'll be coming out. What else? Oh, there's a chamber heater. So that is the Panda Breath. That is a chamber heater for the PNX1 series. Wireless re remote control. Uh, also local control if you want. This is a prototype, so they all look like on buttons, but they actually have different functions. Yeah, and that'll be able to heat your chamber up. Tons of safety built into it to make sure that it is absolutely safe. Um, and that'll be able to enable engineering grade filaments on your PNX1 series. So. Yeah, that is an exciting little product. And this is the Panda Alarm. So there are a few people out there running sort of uh, more than one machine and they want to be able to walk in the room and just see, is that machine okay without actually having to go and open the door and look inside? So this basically just taps into the machine and looks at all the error codes. And if there is an error code uh, or if a print is done or if a print is busy, uh, it will light up and this whole thing will light up to show you what the state of the machine is. So you can just glance at it. Yeah. Okay, we're still going, we're good. Um, or, okay, there's a problem and I need to service that machine. So that's called the Panda Alarm. It mounts... Uh, it connects via USB and otherwise communicates wirelessly and it would mount on the machine over there. Of course, we get a Panda Touch installed over here, so we can't exactly put it on, but that gives you some idea of where it would go. Yeah, and uh, if we're talking bougie, well, you've got the Panda Edge as well, which is a CNC mill scraper, but it is just, it's super pleasurable to work with. I think it's a really cool little product. Yeah, CNC mill scraper. If, uh, if you're into blinging things out, that is right up your alley. Can that also be used uh, in combination with the uh, build plates? Yeah, 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 no problem. I mean, you're not going to come in at the plate like that, right? You've got, you, you've got this angled uh, face at the bottom that would help you just run it at the right angle, and then you just lift the, the stuff off without actually gouging the plate. So tons of new stuff coming on the, on the Panda range, tons of new stuff coming on the DIY range. Um, we have been busy. We are tired, but we are excited with what is coming. Yeah. If you have any questions, feel free to shout. Um, otherwise, you know, if your viewers have questions, tag me on, on Twitter or wherever and let me know and I'll be happy to jump on there and yeah. give them some answers. I will put the link in the description where to find the awesome brand new products yeah. from uh, Big3Tech and BQ. Yeah, yeah. thank you so Look, much for stopping by, man. Thank you very much. Pleasure.